Welcome to Everything Currency. I'm your host, Jay, and I just want to say a good morning right now. I'm going to take you guys on a little walk, and we're going to talk about DeFi. DeFi, you know the big word right now, and everybody's about this DeFi. It's the biggest thing in cryptocurrency right now. It's the main thing that's causing everybody to get all these pumps. Shout out to everybody that got, got in on that pump on Cody, and shout out to everybody that's in Kyber Network. If you don't know what Kyber Network is, you should probably look into it because all of these decentralized protocols and products and stuff like that there's two things that they're going to need that's liquidity and oracles so kyber network and chain link it's looking pretty good um also i want to talk about first 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 um speaking of decentralized ada just uh has some things going on where they're partnering with Chainlink, which I mean, you could have saw that coming from a distance. But the cool thing that I think about ADA is that they're going to be allowing staking on Coinbase custody. And um, to me, that's pretty big. You know, that's showing some uh, demand for the coin already. But I'm pretty sure like a bunch of these people who are going to be staking on Coinbase custody already have a shit ton of ADA. But, um, and you know, ADA is reaching for complete decentralization right now they're kind of 50 50 like most of these cryptos um because someone has to develop them and then they have to come up with a plan to then take them decentralized so um <clears throat> the thing about decentralized finance versus centralized finance is with the decentralized finance you're talking about way bigger gains way bigger yields just because you're cutting out the middleman that's all that means is just cutting out the middleman like Anytime you cut out the middleman, you save more money. So all DeFi is doing is attempting to take the bank and take the middleman and turn it into a software that people can use, that they can trust, that they don't have to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, they don't have to give half of the money to somebody else. And, um, you know, the thing about that is there's a big learning curve. So a lot of these coins and companies are coming out and they're trying to make it easy trying to build up the user experience within DeFi to make it easier um you're also accepting more risk if you go with those rewards so like for example a normal bank which is insured so look thing about centralized entities is that you have some sense of insurance if something goes wrong you have some type of insurance to back it up with some of these protocols if things go wrong it's new technology if things go wrong you kind of lose your money you're risking it you know, but a bank is only gonna give you 1% a year, 0.01% a year, 0 0.02. Like 0 0.02 versus 6% is like a huge difference, you know what I mean? So this is why people are falling in love with this DeFi craze. But for me, I think people should be aware of and be careful with all this yield farming and stuff like that. Just be careful because that price of ETH tanks you can get liquidated very easy. Um, and, you know, if you're leveraging and you're borrowing DAI to trade more DAI or borrowing DAI to go and borrow some Nexo and borrow this and borrow that, borrowing is just exactly what it sounds like, it's borrowing. And on this channel, we don't really like borrowing because we don't like paying interest. You know what I mean? We don't like spending money on things that we don't need to spend money on. And interest is one of those things. If I was getting a loan for a house, yeah, I'll pay the interest on it because I need that loan. But in crypto, you don't necessarily need loans to make money. You know, you might yield farm and get yourself, you know, 40, 50%. We're trading that daily. Like we're trading that. We're getting 50% coins. You know, JRT, when I first got into it, that shit went 8X or 6X, my bad, 6X. My bad, I don't want to hype myself up too much, but that it went 6X. So this yield farming is risky. You know, if the price of Ethereum drops 10%, a lot of y'all's gonna lose all your money and be pissed off. Um, but if you know what you're doing and you do it right, like me, I didn't even really get into it. Cause I'm like, why would I get into all that borrowing money and risking getting liquidated and all this stuff? It's like, I can trade. I could risk losing two or 3% in order to gain 10%. I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? And I think a lot more people should be okay with that. And I think the whole appeal of this DeFi thing is people are thinking it's just another get rich quick scheme. And 
you know, a lot of people are making a lot of money, so I don't hate on it. If it's making you money and you know what you're doing, hey, I don't hate on it. As a matter of fact, if it's making you money, then teach me. Come in the comment box and be like, yo, you're stupid, bruh. You need to get on this yield farm and let me show you how. If I'm stupid and I don't understand how it works and, you know, like, fill me in because I'm seeing easier ways to get this cash. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I care about Bitcoin. I like what the technology can do for the people. But right now, I'm just trying to get to that 1%. I'm trying to be 1%, like 99% of the population has none of the money. I'm trying to get to the 1%. So um, you're sitting over here worried about all the all the wrong things. So at the end of the day, I'm just trying to keep it real honest and say, hey, we're using cryptocurrency to gain more money. In the future, if everything works out and one Bitcoin ends up becoming the standard form of measure as far as money goes and it's not the dollar anymore if bitcoin does take over then i'm still going to be good because i'm in it early but if bitcoin doesn't completely take over which i don't think it'll completely take over um but i do think it'll be used and the technology will definitely be used even if we took the dollar and just threw some blockchain technology over it. but that's a different story for a different day but at the end of the day at the end of right now <laughs> like my whole point is this that be careful with DeFi and be careful with the only thing you need to be careful with centralized entities is if they're not breaking the law you know if they're breaking the law then they'll get shut down and in the case that they get shut down what usually happens is they usually just give your money back but we don't want that you know we want more money than we put in so when it comes to the centralized ones the reasons why people don't like them is because they can be shut down they can be manipulated anything could be manipulated. So I'm not really tripping too much right now off of decentralized versus centralized um, because it doesn't make sense when I'm trading. Like, I mean, it does it, it does make sense, but it doesn't matter when I'm trading. Um, if you wanna go the normal route, you know, if you already have a million dollars and you just wanna live off of the passive income from that, then DeFi is probably the way to go. Um, but be careful, man, because you can get liquidated easy, easily and quickly. And last thing you want, like anytime you use leverage, you can get liquidated. So be careful with that. Um, right now with these coins, I don't think, I mean, as the DeFi hype picks up and more and more people are hopping on this DeFi hype, more and more coins are going to come out and claim to be DeFi. You know, they're going to come out and claim that They've been DeFi the whole time. So just be aware of that. Um, right now, hype is still pumping the market. Hype is still pumping everything. Um, but just, I guess what I would say is I'm making more money trading. I don't need to get into all this risky yield farming stuff and risk getting liquidated. Um, <sighs> trading is not easy. Don't get me wrong. Like You still have to learn some things, but you don't have to get all complex with it. And we're only looking for, you know, short gains over and over and over and over and over and over. And whenever we find something like JRT, we'll try to bring it to the attention of the people. And hopefully we can all get paid off of it. Um, yeah, but other than that, man, be careful with that yield farming stuff. Be careful with this DeFi hype. Because right now, if the price of these cryptos tank, a lot of people might be in trouble and the charts we're seeing bearishness on on the, the charts right now um, one thing is that the market really is running on this Bitcoin dominance idea where Bitcoin dominance goes down and what that means is like you'll see money is kind of floating back and forth it's not really floating out of crypto it's just kind of floating back in between Bitcoin and altcoins new money coming in going into Bitcoin and altcoins and you can see that the Bitcoin dominance has been taking a hit. So all coins have been doing good. Anybody who tells you that all coins have been sucking probably haven't looked past the top 20 on uh, top cryptos. So don't listen to them. <laughs> um, these mid caps and low caps have been pumping, man. So yeah, man, I just ran it for like 10 minutes. Hopefully my rant could help some people make better decisions and make some money because that's why we're here so that's it for now
like and subscribe turn on post notifications got a new series coming soon called the coin wars so stay tuned for that i think y'all really gonna like that um but yeah until next time peace